in it into little strips and do little spirals. Oh, so you it's after put you're more all done. on top of that. Yeah. It, it's not still wet or anything. No, it's dry. It's just the next phase if you want to add more design. Mm. Oh, okay. So it would just be dry. Yeah. yeah. But then you would have to wet it to set it. You can. Oh, you, you don't, don't have, have to. to. I like to wet felt because it mm -hmm. makes things indestructible. Right. Mm -hmm. They're sealed together. Yeah. It's harder to felt, um, needle felt your design in what's mm -hmm. already felted. Yeah. Because once it's felted, it doesn't have fibers that will open up to the new wool. Oh. Interior color, exterior color. You but this is, this is one boot. This is actually two boots. Two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how, how, how are cut? you going to get the inside of it? Here. Yeah, okay. this is the next step. Yeah, right. So I'm going to, this is only one side of the boot. Uh, okay. One side of two boots. That, mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's what, what it is. Yep. So, but that's going to end up to be two. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. When I flip it over, you'll see what's mm -hmm. going to happen next. I like to use these to move water around. And this mm -hmm. is, this is warm, soapy water. And yeah, you know, uh, that's the next question. How much yeah. soap? What kind of soap? Tell us everything right now, please. Didn't they say to bring a bar? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. I and I may neglected to do so. Okay. No, so did I. I neglected to bring a bar. So. I brought bars. So what and I'm doing is I'm just pushing the water into the wall. Mm. Mm. Because I have a tray here. I might lead, might lead me to use too much water, but if you don't have a tray, you find yourself dripping on the floor, mm. and you're pretty quick to... Is that mm. cheesecloth or something, or what is that? It's an old curtain oh, from the curtain. Goodwill. Okay. Yep. So it's just, it's got, um, it's just sheer enough that you can feel through it, and you can see what you're working on. Mm -hmm. Some people use plastic bags. They'll okay. cover it with a plastic bag, cover it with a sheet, mm -hmm. a white sheet, and just do this, because mm -hmm. it's just a thousand ways of felt. So there's not a right way. This, is, for instance, is just my way of felting. If mm -hmm. you go on Google, you'll mm -hmm. find another way. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that if you didn't have the tray, you you would correct yourself and not put too much right. on Right, yeah. So what you don't want to do is a tray to get, you don't want to get lazy with a tray and have too much water in here because mm -hmm. you don't want it to be swimming. Mm -hmm. You just want it to be moist. So with a sponge, I'm going to move water around. And I'm going to add enough water just so the whole area is flat as a pancake. And right now you can see it's still fluffy. Mm -hmm. This hasn't been drenched yet, so I need to add some more water. Hmm. And sometimes that's adding soap too. That helps. It helps the wool absorb water hmm. to add soap because it's chemically changing the wool. It opens up its scales. And and also, the soap is nice because it lets you slip over the surface, mm. so you don't stick to the wool. So you're, as you do this, you're doing a little bit of felting. You're causing the fibers to, to come together. It takes a while for them to become strong, but right now, I'm going to carefully flip this over. Now, if I'm, if I'm working with something large, like your slipper, I'm going to leave this side on, because that kind of helps hold things in place and flip over the whole thing. Now, with the slipper, it's going to be heavy and wet, <laughs> and it might want to fall apart. So this is just a trick of being fast. <laughs> with a little slipper, it's really easy. Sound effects were good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So the curtain is there to help you lift the, the slipper up, turn it over, and also serves as a protection. So when you rub it, you're not rubbing fibers, dispelling fiber, dispersing fibers. Because if you were to use just your hand, which some people do, they just like to use their hand or a plastic bag on their hand and rub this way. But I find that the fibers stick to me and I don't mm -hmm. like doing that, so I put a curtain over the surface. So now I've got one side of it done of the slipper. And I want to make a pocket now. So what I'm going to do is fold this stuff over. And I'm going to fold it up right to the edge of my slipper. This is a, an important part to be really thoughtful about getting it just right. 
And that's why you don't want to have too much out here because you end up piling it up in here. You want just enough to pull over the edge. What I'm going to do is, it likes to bunch up in the corners, so I want to kind of feather it by pulling it in a little bit and flattening it. So, and I'm coming up right to the edge of the resist. If I don't, I'm going to have a layer of wool that felts to itself. And that will make some baby unhappy. <laughs> So you're providing the separation yes. from the fibers, okay? Yep. Otherwise, you get a kind of a ridge. Yep, exactly. Mm, okay. and there, it's pretty close. Mm -hmm. So you want to be mm -hmm. thoughtful about when I add a top layer, I make sure there's enough that will go over the yeah. edge the other way. And the easiest sort of slipper to make is a one-color slipper. If you're adding an interior layer and exterior layer, you're going to be doing this twice, which is fine. I wouldn't stop anybody from doing that. Um, but that means you do one layer with color, mm -hmm. one color, another layer with another color. So mm -hmm. flip, 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 flip. And I'm just going to do one color with a little bit of design on the outside. And as I do this, I kind of push that, push it down so it stays, wants to stay. Sometimes you just might want to add some water as you go. Soap is like a glue, sort of. <laughs> Helps it settle in place. You haven't really used a whole lot of soap, have you? No, there's soap in the water, too. Okay. Yeah. That hot pot over there is full of soapy water. Um, so what I Good do... Good to know. Yeah. Don't fill yes. up your cup. Not tea. <laughs> Don't make tea. Yeah. Yeah. So this part is sort of fussy, and mm -hmm. it's it's worth taking time on. Because when you make mistakes, you can usually correct them, mm -hmm. but it's always better to mm -hmm. go forward rather than having to back, go backwards and redo something. But we will make mistakes, and then we'll get through it together, and we'll all learn. So and that's good, too. So fussy, fussy, keep on mm -hmm. just kind of wiggling it in so it pulls it up right against the resist. And here I've got a lot of white stuff here. I might just pull some of that off. And then there's a thin area of, of the uh, maroon or red. Yeah, I did. You, did you add to that? Or I did didn't. What I'm going to be thoughtful of. As I add the next layer, make sure there's enough that will cover that and go over the edge. And I really want it to go over the edge everywhere. Uh -huh. so that would just be preferable to adding some? Could right you now? add some if you wanted sure. to? Sure, yep. I could do that right now if I wanted to show you. So that's the weak point right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet down all of this so it sort of settles in place. I like getting my hands soapy every time I... After being a gardener all summer, you get your hands it's, really clean. I all. know. It's, <laughs> yeah. I know the seasons change and my fingernails are... <laughs> No longer black. <laughs> I, I thought I heard you say that that actually cleanses the, the wool, but where does the dirt go then? Well, if you were using dirty wool, you would see it. <laughs> it would leave. It would leave as you're rinsing it, you're dumping out water, and you're, oh, you're, okay. it's the part of the process. Okay. But I'm it's wondering. I don't. It is interesting, actually. Dirt into my felt. No, because you're as you do this, you are washing your wool basically. Mm. So if you were to use dirty wool, you'll just. It'd be kind of pooey and smelly, and mm -hmm. <laughs> but the the like grasses and things that sit in the wool, those wouldn't leave. Like those wouldn't leave. Yeah. So you want to choose wool that's not grassy okay. or full of burrs and things. Uh -huh. so. so when you were talking about that, farmers have these barns full of wool. Yeah. Are they raising the sheep for meat then, mm. or what well, are they doing? There's a lot of romantic farmers who just like having animals around, mm. and, okay. and they have to shear their sheep and, mm. but. Yeah, I think there's probably grazing lambs for meat, and then they have the parent sheep. And uh -huh. 
I have some. Uh, maybe add some cold water for that. So what I tend to do with that water pot, that hot water pot, is that the water takes a long time to heat in the sink, so I just keep hot water in there. And then when we have soapy water, just put the soapy water, it gets cold, in the hot pot. So we'll keep recycling the soap and the water, and, and you can always go to the sink and get cold and mix it with that hot water, because that's super hot. Oh, I thought you so meant Jackson, that's that, enough. I thought you meant that other pot over there. Oh, we can use that one too. Oh. Yeah. Well, that doesn't we'll fill that with